Star Citizen crowdfunding passes $250 million How much more can it raise? In brief, Star Citizen, a game that's proving to be as controversial as it is ambitious, has just passed another milestone, $250 million in crowdfunding. It was just over one year ago when Star Citizen passed the $200 million crowdfunding mark. Now, Robert Space Industries reports that it has now raised $250,456,659 from 2,447,236 individual Star Citizens. In this year alone, it has brought in $37 million. The fact the project keeps on raising money at a rapid pace is raising some eyebrows. It has been in development for seven years, and after numerous delays and changes to the original vision, some backers want out and have even launched lawsuits to get their pledges refunded. Back in May, a report looked into the Space Sims trouble development. It noted that of the $288 million raised, $242 million of which was crowdfunded by consumers, just $14 million was left in the bank by the end of 2017. This led to the team raising money through the release of virtual spaceships, which sell for up to $3,000 per ship. Last year saw a new trailer released for the game's single-player mode, Squadron 42. If you're wondering where some of the backers' money went, check out the cast, Gillian Anderson, Mark Hamill, Gary Oldman, Mark Strong, John Rhys Davis, Liam Cunningham, Ben Mendelsohn, and the soon-to-be Geralt of Rivia, Henry Cavill, all appear in the game. Sadly, Citizen 42 has been delayed by three months and won't arrive until the third quarter of next year. Another major update to Star Citizen is still to come this month, which will add a new planet called Microtech. Next year, a 20 vs 20 mode will arrive for the multiplayer FPS section called Theaters of War. Still no word on a solid Star Citizen release date, though. For more on this story, visit the news article link.